Good morning, it's Sunday the 30th of April 2017, it's the last day of April and welcome to Chris Ridden's DIY special, yes gang, bang bang bang, screw screw screw, today uh, by special request people asking for a DIY show, I'm going to show you how to fix this, here is, here is an extremely cheap Cheap, cheap, cheap. This is a cheap shoe rack as purchased from Tesco, uh, not Tesco's, from The Range uh, Superstores. They got like DIY places. They sell all sorts of stuff in there from all over the place. And um, I've already partly put this together. Now this is Ronnie's one. Me and him bought one of these. And uh, it comes as a load of bits of wood and you gotta put it together. And we've already put together the little um, uh, rods in there you see and the bits of wood the thing is it falls apart not not this bit this bit doesn't fall apart you put it together with these four legs and I'll show you we're gonna have to do this on the floor on the floor on the floor Ugh. all right now very very important first you need some of our multi-use Metro newspapers! Oh yes, not only do these uh, keep your floor nice and clean from those pet unwanted accidents from your pet, but it's also extremely used for DIY type projects, which is what I'm about to show you today. Here we go. So nicely spread some of that newspaper out. Now remember gang, you can use this again and again, this newspaper, as well as reading it first. You can then use it for the cat litter tray. Don't chuck it, so don't chuck it away straight away, dears. Oh no, it's a bit hot in here, one minute. Oh. Do, have you noticed how I've dressed in suitable DIY attire this morning? No nice shirt, you know, no jacket, DIY attire. You will need to use dirty clothes or, or you know, old clothes for this. And there's quite a few of you that come in some of the karaoke nights that have very, very suitable items for doing DIY. I have to tell you this. So spread some of this newspaper out, boys and girls. All right. This is, this is probably, um, this particular DIY project is probably suitable, are you there? Uh, is probably suitable for the novice. That is people like yourselves, you know, who are not particularly, not experts like me. Uh, probably in, in the future, I will probably show you how to do a house extension or put up a conservatory. Today, it's repair, repair a range cheap shoe rack. So here we are, here we have the shoe rack. And this is how it works. Let me show you. The idea is you simply um, uh, put, you see it's got little little edges. Can you see where it's slightly insert there? So you put that there, okay? And it really is as simple as that. You put four of those in like that, okay? <laughs> four of these in like, oh, that's, that's a bit tight that one, dear. Put four of those in like that, and then you simply slot the one on top, and then you put it upside down, and you just put your shoes on it. But it keeps falling apart. So what we use, use is something available from all DIY places, the old Evo stick wood adhesive. And I have to tell you, oh, oh, it's oh, it's such a lovely sweat. You could eat this. You could absolutely eat this. Now, if you are watching with children at home, please do not allow them to use this. You don't want eyelids sticking together, or if, if there's two children together, they will think it's really hilarious to stick their brother's or sister's hands or feet together or something like that. You know, you end up looking like a duck. All right, so don't do this. I have already cut the top off. This is actually the second time I've used this. And what I haven't done yet is check that it's still gonna come out, actually. Oh, it will, look. Can you see that coming out the top? Look at that look, little, look, look, look how it ejaculates out of the top there. Look at that, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? So that's it, all right? All you need is this. And you get your, um, your, your bottom thing here, right? 
You put a little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. Don't overdo the glue. No point in putting on loads and loads of glue. You're just getting into a terrible mess. And you put a little bit of glue on here. Look at that, look at that. And you just slot it into your range shoe thing. Like that, look at that, that's it. Look at that. Now, I'll do the same for all four. So a little bit of glue there, a little bit of glue there. Oh, it's dripping. See, did you see how that dripped onto my copy of the Metro newspaper? Saving my expensive plush John, plush John Lewis carpet. Oh yes, John Lewis carpet, okay? So there's two, look, look how quick this is. Two have been done already. Now, the other ones, this gets a bit difficult now because you don't want to ruin the ones that you've put just on. Okay, so we'll do this here. Another one here, one minute. A little bit there, a little bit there. I can see you all asking me, I mean, I could probably make, oh, hang on, that's come off there. Ah, now the Dow thing's come out. Why is that? Oh dear. Maybe it needs a bit of glue. I think it needs a bit of glue there as well. Just a minute now. I'm gonna put a bit of glue. Perhaps I should have stuck that bit first. Ah, yes, one, oh no, it's dripping down now. One minute, one minute. Oh, don't put it on there. Uh, oh! Um, uh, oh, well, um, yes, sometimes it's going to break like that, I would guess. Now we're going to stick that back together there. Well, it's broken, isn't it? Oh, we go mad now. This isn't mine, it's Ronnie's. Oh, hang on, have I done this the right? That's the wrong way round, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. It's broken. And maybe we can fix this somehow. Uh... Must be a way of fixing. Oh, I know what I can do. If I put a bit of glue, I'll leave that till later. If I put a bit, oh God. If I put a bit of glue here, perhaps a little bit of glue there, that might stick that together then, mightn't it? And I can put the other bit on later on. Uh, and now, I shall now insert the third one in its rightful position. It's all getting stuck to the paper down there. Like that. That's that one done. And I'll, I'll have to do it with three for now. Can you see this end one? You can. Kind of. I'll have to do it with three for now until the glue dries on that bit I've just had to repair. And I think what I'll do is put a bit of glue around the edge of these as well at the top. Thus cementing their positions in power. Oh, hang on a minute. No, that's upside down. That's upside down, isn't it? Oh, that's upside down. Oh, I've put the glue on the wrong way around now. Hang on. Um, yes, so I'll put some glue. To, no, I'll put the top on first. I'll put the top on first. We're doing it with three legs at the moment. Well, we because we've got to repair the other bit, which I will come back to in a, a future programme, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> we'll stick that over there. Oh, I haven't put the glue on, have I? Okay, so we'll put a bit of glue here. Where's that going now? Bit of glue here. Oh, I should put it on there, really, shouldn't I? I'll put the glue on the legs. Is that it? Oh, it's running down the wood now. Oh, bit of glue there. Bit of glue there. Oh, don't run down the legs. Bit of glue here. Ah, oh, bit of glue there. That's that done like that. And then we should just be able to put these on the top. And then that's it. Look at that, that's it. There we are. Oh, pushed it down too far. Oh God. Why is that not tight together then? Okay. Now I think for the th that bit's not on there, hang on a minute. Right, so we've got three legs on there at the moment. We're gonna have to wait for the other one to fix itself. So we'll do that like that. I'll have to put that on. 
because it's not standing up, is it? Uh, I'll put that on temporarily like that. Oh, that's it. So that will hold the rest of it up. Oh, God. Why does that keep falling down? Maybe it needs more glue. I think it needs more glue. That's the answer. So that's that like that. Now that looks about all right to me. Does that look all right to you, lovies? Does that look okay to you? So now I'll put some glue at the bits where it joins up and hold it together like that. There we are. There we are on the four bits here. That'll hold it nicely in position, won't it? I'm sure it will. Actually, it'll hold this in position as well, the broken bit. Oh, yes. All right, hang on. So I'll put that there. Glue that there in the sides. You see, all fixed. Even though it's broken, I have fixed it. I'm professional DIY person, Chris Reardon. Thank you. One moment. Put a bit there. Oh, that's it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do I need a bit around the outside? There's maybe a bit on the top there as well, I think. A bit there. And hopefully that will go down into the... Um, Crevice. I like that word, crevice. It goes down into the crevice. Bit there. Bit there. That's it. Look at them all on top there. I think this is an excellent job I've done. And all oh, a bit around the, um, around the bottoms as well, where the legs join up, because we don't want them breaking, dear. You want to see the amount of trainers and shoes my mate's got. It's ridiculous. I've never known someone with hundreds and hundreds of pairs of trainers and he keeps buying the bloody things. <sighs> right there. Oh, hang on, that's not quite up in position, is it, that one? There we are. Maybe if I put a bit of glue there, that'll help it, won't it? Glue there, that's it. That'll help that up there. And a bit more there. Yes. Corner there where it's broken. No, nope, that's still falling down. I'll have to put something underneath it. What can I put underneath it? Um, oh, it's DVD. Will that do it? That, that do it. Do, no, it's a bit high. Need to put something underneath there. Oh, I can see something. One moment. This extremely useful <coughs> battery charger. Here we are. That'll go under there and it will raise that in just the right position. No, look at that. Look at that, the perfect size, dear. Or maybe the other. Oh, oh no, I pulled it to R now. Hang on, that's it. If I rest that on there like that, then that's in the right position. All glue is in place. I mean, you wouldn't even know there was any glue on there. Would you like a close-up of the glue? There we are, close-up of the glue. I mean, you won't be able to see that once it's dried, will you? I'm sure you won't. Down the bottom there, and uh, on the other sides there. There we are. Look, look at that. There's a little, there's the bit that's broken there. Can you see that bit that's broken on the side? There? There's no bit there. It's here. It's here. So I've, I've still got to reattach that at some point, boys and girls. And, uh, oops. All we've got to do now is wait for the glue to dry. And by the magic of modern television, a few hours are about to pass. Oh, you're back. Uh, a few hours has passed now, boys and girls. And um, it's, it's feeling quite stable, actually. But I'm now going to attach the broken piece. I'm going to attempt to attach the broken piece off to the side, invisibly, so that Ronnie doesn't know that it's broken. So, well, watch this, watch this. So that's where that's got to go there. Here it is here. So we'll put a little bit of glue on there again. Right, a little bit of glue on there. And we're, oh, hang on, hang on a minute. Actually, oh, I can't get it back on again. No, because... <laughs> <laughs> that bit of wood there, can you see that bit there? That's further in than that is out. I think we're just going to... Mm, I'll tell you what, we're leave, well, I'm going to leave that off and hope he doesn't notice. Oh, hang on, it, it does come out. It's push, Oh, it's coming out. Hang on. No, it... Oh, it comes out a bit. Can you see what I'm doing there? How's that go on then? 
Well, it doesn't seem to fit anymore, does it? Oh, is that it? Like that? Oh, uh, well. N mm, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'll put a bit of glue <laughs> on that bit there. Oh, yes, that'll be excellent. I'll put a bit of glue on there and push that back. Hey, it don't look too bad like that, does it? That should stick there. Maybe a bit of glue there as well. Hey, mm -hmm. eh? where's that look now? Now, shall I put that on or not? I think I'll just put that on there. I don't think that will go on. What if I break that off there? That go on there? No, I think we're better off leaving that off, actually. I'll just put that glue there a bit more. Right. More glue there. I think it does drive, drive so that you can't see it. I hope it does anyway. I think that's quite a good little job that is. There we are, look. So that's gonna dry there and hopefully stick that together. And now we must wait for a, a few hours to pass again, boys and girls, when it will be all dry and then we can test it out. How exciting is this? More hours will now pass. More hours have passed. I've even been to work and church and a new set of clothes as well. Yes, gang, our DIY project is complete. Look at this, look. Oh, one minute, stuck to the newspaper. I mean, there might have been a little bit of excess glue going down the legs, but uh, yes, look at this. Look at this, look, look, very strong. Very, very strong. Isn't it marvellous? And here's the bit that broke off. Look, 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 look. Strong. Oh, yes. And what has surprised me is, look, you know that all that white glue, look, it's disappeared. Look at that. It has become invisible. Oh, yes. Ronnie's going to be very pleased with this, I think. Excellent. And there is Chris Reardon's DIY programme for you on this Sunday. How fabulous is that? And it's going to be even better for Ronnie today because it's his birthday, among others. And today, as a special treat, we go to the piano to sing happy birthday to our wonderful birthday people this morning. Come along, Tim. Birthday time on this Sunday, boys and girls. This morning we have many birthdays as always. At the top of my list today is best friend Ron's birthday who is 44 years old today. Happy birthday Ronnie, 44, only 10 years behind me. Happy birthday sir, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time. That might be a gift, that might be a gift on Tuesday. Today's gift from me to you is your fixed shoe rack. I mean that's better than anything I could possibly buy you, isn't it lovey? Huh? Isn't it lovey? Hey? Eh? Hey, happy birthday, Ron. Uh, also, happy birthday today to our very good friend, Bernard, uh, Bernard J. Lynch. Happy birthday, sir. Yes, Brandon Schmidt is a young, 22 years old today. Happy birthday, Brandon. Uh, Penny Taylor is 43 years old. Happy birthday, Penny. Danica Futavilla. I hope I've got that right. Uh, a young, 29. Happy birthday, Daniela. Jeremy Hughes is 46 years old today. And Alex Reardon, I think you're too, you're not, your age hasn't come up, but I think you're 22 for someone, someone of my same name. Oh, we must be related somewhere, Alex. He lives in uh, Maryland, I think that's in the USA. So happy birthday, Alex, and everyone else. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Bernard, Brandon, Penny, Danica, Jeremy and Alex. Happy birthday to you. Yes! There we are. Happy birthday to your boys and girls. Now, don't forget, I might, I'm going to play a bit of organ for you this morning. Do you fancy a bit of organ this morning? I'll play you in a moment. 
Uh, the Gloria that we sing at church every Sunday. Well, they, they change it now and again. We have a, we, there's, there's like a rotation. I'll play you the one that we did today. As a special little treat. You can't wait for that, can't you? Eh? Millions of people have just joined us just to hear me play the organ. That's what's going on this morning. But before I do that, let me tell you tonight, it's karaoke. Sunday karaoke tonight. It's our first one. And that is at the Camden Eye in Camden Town on top. It's almost on top of Camden Tube Station, OK? That starts today, uh, this Sunday, at 8 o'clock and finishes at 11 o'clock. Nice early finish. You can get up early for work and all that business, all right? So karaoke tonight on this Sunday night at the Camden Eye in Camden Town, starting at 8 o'clock and finishing at 11 o'clock. I do hope to be streaming the event live for our millions of viewers all over the world here on Facebook One, OK? So that's happening today, tonight. Uh, I shall leave you with a little bit of an organ, OK? This will go for about two and a half minutes. This is today's... Do you want me to sing it as well? No, I didn't think so. I shall, I shall play it, complete with mistakes. We don't do second takes. This is life in the raw, boys and girls. Life in the raw. There's too much perfection in the world. Too much perfection. Go to McDonald's, everything's the same. I come and play you a tune, it'll be different every time, even though it's the same song. Here we go then, all right? And I'll see you for the next show. Cheerio now. <laughs> No, that's, I think that's the wrong one. <laughs> I've got the music in front of me and I'm playing the wrong one. Here it is. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> now you understand why I don't play the church organ anymore. I worry about mistakes. And there was one of them. Here we go. Sunday, see you soon. Cheerio now.